We are tackling the head gasket on the Civic. <laughs> Little bit. Yummy. Yummy. For the tummy. Duck, that's all. Wiggle that dude out. Rocker train, bell train. Don't be prying too much on those flat surfaces. Remember, grab this end and that end at the same time and wiggle back and forth. Wiggle it on out of there. Something's still holding it. Here. Here, take this. Oh, that's the camera. I don't want to do it. All right. Now. There you go. Now, where you? Mm -mm. I'm in a mess. All right. Now we can zip tie our timing belt up and pull the cam out. Now just keep doing that again, two more clicks. When it loosens up, we'll get enough torque off of it. There you go. Get enough torque off of it, then we'll, we'll run them off. Feeling starting to get easier. Yeah. We still gotta get that intake, the uh, the bolt off that intake. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, here we are. Got the head off. And now we'll check for surface. Right. Warps and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? 
<laughs> no. No, not that. That. <laughs> Look at that big cam. <laughs> All right, we went 14 pounds first. We started out with our three eighths torque wrench because this one didn't go low enough. And then we went to 36 pounds and now we're gonna finalize 49 pounds with this half inch. All right, we go from there, we go straight up. You know what? Come look at this. I thought I felt that a while ago. That is a different size head screw than these are. Same size bolt, different size. Sure is. That's a 13 a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go ahead and stop this. No, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. Check, check more than one of them because I noticed that. Yeah, that's ago. 13 right there. All right, check this one right here because that one looks. 14, 13, 13, 13. Because all the ones we pulled out were 14. Yeah. 13. God, that makes me not trust these bolts, man. Cheap Chinese ones like that. Most of them are 13. Stop the video. I want to go. Still on 49, yeah. Okay. All right, here's something we've never encountered before. We're going to finish. We're going to start back on this one, one we stopped on. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, we did check our bolts that we took out. They are all 14 millimeter headed uh, head bolts. It's my fault when I got these in. I didn't check behind these cheap Chinese some bitches. I thought these were going to be just <laughs> perfectly fine, and it was a reputable company. However, had we have, stars. yeah, we have one 13 millimeter headed there 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 and there so there's four of them that's 13 millimeter head so we marked them with our little uh silver sharpie marker so keep us in check and we're going to proceed at this point and hope to god that these things will hold up 49 pounds i'm talking about through the normal uses of driving this vehicle all right all right now go up to your 14 up here and we're doing across there right um, where did we start? We started. Okay, started here, 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 here. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So over here to this third. Yeah. At least we got two in consecutive. I don't like how that does either. But just keep going. Just make sure to watch the head of this thing. All right, good, good. Okay. <laughs> That's messed up with a capital F. Okay, so we got all of these. Yeah, now we're on that. Here, now now we'll go it goes over here to the... Yeah, the 13 millimeter thing just throw me off. When you got to stop and do all this kind of stuff, you forget where you were. Mm-hmm. Up top, yeah. All right, back over to the top and then back down to the bottom on the other opposite side. All right, and back opposite. We're going to check all these one time around after we're done. All right, that's set. But we're going to go, go back and check them all now and just make sure we're all set where we need to be. So now we're ready to put the cam back in. Or do you want to do that or you want to go ahead and get the exhaust back on? Oh, that'd be too fine. It, you know, either way. It's, it's fine either way, but 
the, the more we get done up top, the less chances we got stuff debris flying from the fresh cut grass. <laughs> so yeah. We've oiled underneath. We cleaned underneath. We got our we oil them up. Line it back up. Yeah, we will. But we're checking everything, making sure our rockers are on top of our valve stems where they're supposed to be. We're we gonna have to set the valves. No, no, it's already been set. I mean, I can check the clearances, but you're really supposed to check with it once it's hot. But I, got, I can look and find the data on what it is when it's cold. But that looks good. That one, all right, now that's where your, that's, that one's where your uh, valve is your, at your highest point. That means that's where your stroke is at. Mm -hmm. So that's, this one, this one right here is where it's going to be the tightest at going down. It's the one that's going to be pushing. When you push down, it's going to push this valve open. All right. Okay, we got everything hooked back up here. Got our water pump all hooked back up. Good. Oiled all the roller bearings, rocker arms valve tips do we need to put a like some lube on it new gasket no mm. no dry rubber on dry aluminum yep all right pull them wires up the way in the back just don't drop it on there just wiggle it in place ease it in place You know, if we had that plastic cover on this first. No. I'm trying to remember. That's it. All right. That bolts to there. All right. Put that on. Put our bracket back in. Okay. Final inspection. We've done finally inspected this thing like four or five times as we've been putting it together. Everything seems to be in place. Got oil in it. Oil in it. All gaskets are changed. Gaskets. Coolants in it. It's not purged completely because of we haven't run it in yet. Do we need to uh, leave this off when we run it? No, no, it don't matter. Our thermostat ain't even opened yet. Yeah. Um. All right. Crank shaft, sensor, camshaft, sensor, place. Belt's been tensioned. Um, oil's in it, of course, the uh, oil filter and everything. So, all right. And takes on there. Uh, we did take the rag out of the throttle body. We did. Yeah. All Remember right. Hop in it and see what it does. Out. Yeah. It, it'll happen. All right, moment of truth. We got the cam timed right, so everything should work right. Yeah. Just turn the key. Let it build out some fuel pressure. All right. It's all right. It's got everything's got to build back up. Go ahead. Ah, 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 ah! Don't rev on it. Yeah, buddy. Where you going? <laughs> That's all that oil we put in there to lube it up. Valves and all that. Purring like a kitten. Now you said don't rev it up, but hey, it fixed it. Well, you gotta get, need to give it a little more time. Because when you rev it up like that, we don't know exactly if everything's where it's supposed to be, so you kind of want to ease it in there. Sounds good, man. Yeah. Smooth. Head gaskets, uh, 
in case anybody's wondering what all this white stuff is, that is the, before we replace the head gasket, we tried some, and do not, I do not recommend putting any head gasket sealer in your radiator because it'll turn out looking like that. Now we gotta go back to the Yeah, we're gonna pressure wash it. Yeah, I got pressure wash it. All right, go, go look at your gauges. I mean, no check engine light, anything like that? It's flashing? Check engine light is flashing. That's not good. Don't you? Oh. We're going to have to get a code on that. All right, we took it up the road. It came back and we had this tip, tip, tip noise. Well, it turns out it was that little, little guy underneath there wasn't plugged in. Right here. Yeah. And now it's running really good, but the check engine light came off, so it's not going on anymore. And for a car that's got 427,415 miles on it, and as clean as those pistons and cylinders looked, no scarring, no wear, pretty damn amazing. Change the head gasket and it's worked out good. Replaced all the gaskets, matter of fact, that we did. So, let me take the cats off of it now. Well, <laughs> I mean, you need your meow. <laughs> cats. All right. She's, she's back to going. Didn't run hot, so I'm going to purge a little bit more tomorrow and put a little extra cooling in it. We may need just a little bit, but we had this thing jacked up so high, we probably don't need any. <laughs> Matter of fact, when I take it out, it's probably going to bubble over a little bit. I mean, with it cold, I mean, taking it off hot.